Welcome to day one of Cisco Live EMEA in the DevNet Zone. I am here with Edwin. Um, I am super excited. I mean, it's been a year since we've been in Amsterdam. Um, here back in the DevNet Zone, there's a ton of stuff going on. And I like, I really love having our little corner of media things over here. And this time around, rather than being tucked in the back, we're right here in the middle of all the action, which is super fun. Um, and it's our first time getting to sit down and just you know, talk with each other and, and meet. Um, and let's just kind of get into it. I, one of the reasons, if not the main reason, people come to the DevNet Zone or to Cisco is to look at the idea of automation broadly. But more specifically, it's the idea that I can use these programmable interfaces, like APIs, SDKs, whatever it happens to be, to take the networked infrastructure and, and software that we are running and have it do more to solve the real problems I have. But, but, as we were talking ahead of time, the challenge is consistency. And it's the experience they're having when they're doing it. There's lots of APIs. Cisco has a lot of products, good and challenging sometimes. And so I think what I'd love to get from you and to kind of under, help everyone understand is broadly the idea of developer experience or API experience, but more specifically, how do we think about consistency in that experience with our APIs? Yeah, so first of all, thanks Jeff, thanks for having me on the show. What we're seeing, I think there's two main drivers here, right? And what we're seeing is that Cisco is becoming more of a software platform. Right? in addition to being a hardware company and making also all the hardware, awesome hardware that Cisco makes today. Right? Uh, and so, uh, so what does that mean right, from a software platform? And when we ask customers what a platform is, the first thing that comes up are APIs, right? uh, applications, app store, marketplace, right? developer experience, right? and lastly, the ecosystem. Right? And so when you talk about the ecosystem, a healthy ecosystem, all of these components, all these five components need to be in place. Right. Um, and so the second driver here is, as you, as you alluded to, right, Cisco is made up of homegrown technology as well as technology that we've acquired over time. Right? And a lot of these technologies over time have kind of made their own way into the product and they have very, sometimes not the similar look and feel as the main Cisco products. Right? And so bring it back to the APIs, right? What API consistency is all about is making that look and feel from an API perspective, converging into this one Cisco platform. Right? And that's exactly what we're working about, working on in the API consistency. That makes a lot of sense. And I, I can imagine the challenge, well, the challenge is twofold. The, the challenge on the sort of the back end on engineering, design, the, you know, people often think of the idea of uh, user experience when you're interfacing as a user with a browser or whatever an application's front end, but it's just an, I shouldn't say but, and it's just import, as important to think about the back end, the APIs, the other documentation that exists for a developer to want to work with your product because if it's not easy to use or easy ish to use, it takes a lot of time to find things, and if the, as you said, if the experience and interacting with those programmable interfaces is so different that it pulls you out of it and you have to spend more time researching, it can become really difficult to even want to pursue that. So I guess my next question for you is, you know, as developers are thinking about interacting with Meraki, what are the things that uh, Meraki is, how, I should say, how is Meraki thinking about ways to create better consistency in those programmable interfaces, specifically the APIs. Yeah, so definitely I think Meraki is in a very good position today. Right? All the customers that I've spoken with, the first thing they say is like, your APIs are awesome. Right? Continue doing the, the awesome things that you're doing today. Right? The documentation works, it says what it does, right? it's, functional, it's functional, right? it does what it's supposed to do. Right? Um, and so Meraki is in a well, very well positioned place. Right? But I think there are, even though there are a lot of things that Meraki does right, there's also some things that Meraki could also do better, right? right? And so, and so we're, we are working across Cisco, right? Across the Cisco Cloud Networking BUs, across Cisco, to figure out what are the best practices that we can actually take to make Meraki APIs even better, right? And then share that with other BUs, right? So that they can also have the best practice in making their APIs better as well, right? And all this goes into kind of, uh, how do I say, it's one bucket, if you will, right? right? And that bucket is all about converging and making the API experience a lot, lot better and a lot more consistent over time. That makes a lot of sense. And you know what, you didn't say this word, but it's, it is my favorite word because this is what I do every day, is the, the concept of community. It, at the end of the day, we're talking about developers tangentially here, but the reality is 
you're doing, you and the, all your peers and your teams at Rocky are doing is thinking about how is a developer going to use these resources to do the things we really would love them to do, we want to empower them to do. At the end of the day, that's our community. Those are the people that we do this all for. Um, and I really love the idea of how Cisco, how Meraki, broadly and in specific, are really thinking about the idea of bringing community members into the process, whether it's something like a direct, people might think of like a focus group or things of that nature, or it's, we have uh, just off camera here, with something called our shared experience area where people can go through and actually express their feelings about um, how they've interacted with these things, how what the consistency looks like or doesn't look like, so that you and others can use that to say, okay, what should we really be thinking about? We thought this was great. Community members, developers in this case, are telling us these three or four things. Um, and I find that really interesting. So I really love that that's a big part of how you're thinking about ways in which to make this all a more consistent experience for people. Yeah, I mean, it's all, it's all about community, right? It's all about the Cisco community, right? It's all about a customer buying a Cisco product and wanting to have the same look and feel and API ex development experience for all Cisco products, right? Yeah. Not just the point solution that they're buying from Cisco, right? And so what we're working on, right, in an ideal world, is to make sure that the API experience is consistent all across the various different Cisco products and services and hardware products that they're buying. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, already the Meraki dashboard API and the variety of other APIs that are available, as you mentioned earlier, are, are, very, uh, are very consistent today. They're very well documented, um, not to throw any others under the bus. Meraki just has done a really great job of making these interfaces and this documentation in a way that developers can relatively easily get through it and figure out how to consume it, how to utilize it, and do more with it. But as you said, there's always room for more iteration and more learning, more education. So I, I'm really glad to hear that. Um, as we kind of wrap up, anything you want to leave our developers with here in the DevNet zone uh, about what either might be coming or things you're thinking about right now or how best to provide that feedback so they can see these, see this consistency uh, continue to evolve? Yeah. No, we hear you, right? So we are, we're, data we're as data driven as you want us to be, right? And we're also as data driven as we want to be as well, right? And so we, listen to feedback, your feedback, our customers' feedback, our developer community feedback. So any feedback that you have, any input that you have for us, like feel free to send it our way. Right? And that's how we improve, that's how we make things better. Right? And so, and that goes across all of Cisco products, not just Cisco Meraki, right? Because we want to make all Cisco products better, right? So that they are consistent, they have the very similar look and feel, it's a very similar developer experience, if not the same developer experience over time. Excellent. So. Edwin, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. And thanks to everyone else for joining us virtually in the DevNet Zone. Thank you all for watching. We sincerely appreciate it. We look forward to more videos here from the DevNet Zone at Cisco Live EMEA 2024.